Hello everybody, my name is Gattis Kandis and today I will show you how to measure your stick without a ruler. Hardly anybody walks around with a ruler, however everybody always has a phone with them and on each phone there is a timer as you can see. And it is very simple to measure the length of the stick with a timer. Without further ado, let me show you how. Okay, so I got the stick here. And I also get a uh, paper clip, which can be any other object as well, which you're gonna use to drop from the top of the stick all the way to the floor. And then you use timer to measure how long it takes for the object to fall from the top of the stick to the floor. And for the results to be correct, the stick has to be facing straight up from the ground. And I had to put the camera in a corner because that's the only way I can fit the whole stick standing up in the video. Okay, so I got the timer ready and let's go. As you can see the stick is uh, standing straight up here and I'm gonna start the timer when I release the clip and I'm gonna stop the timer when the clip hits the ground so here we go uh, three two one okay so okay so we got uh, 0 0.66 uh, seconds Okay, now when we know that it took clip uh, 0 0.66 seconds to fall all the way down to the floor, it is very simple to calculate the length of the stick. So without further ado, let me demonstrate. Okay, for this calculation, we will need the gravity constant, which is 9.8 meters per second, which you probably remember from school. And to calculate the speed of the clip when it hits the ground, we use this formula, which is V equals G times T, where the g was 9.8 so it equals 9.8 t and the reason for that is every second the speed increases by 9.8 meters per second and now to calculate the distance traveled by the clip also known as length of the stick we simply use formula where d equals s times t where s is the speed of the clip and t is the time spent flying uh, but this speed s is not the same speed as speed v uh, because the speed v is a final speed however speed s is average speed and it is very simple to calculate the average speed but you have to add the starting speed which is obviously zero and then the final speed which is here and then you have to divide all that by two and from that you can see that the average speed is gonna be the final speed divided by two okay so now to calculate average speed we simply replace v with 9.8 uh, t which we calculated before and so the formula is 9.8 t divided by 2 also known as 4.9 times t where t is the time spent in seconds falling and so now to calculate the distance of the clip falling or the length of the stick we simply use again this formula d equals s times t and now when we have calculated that the s is 4.9 t so we replace s with 4.9 t and then times t because it said t here so the final formula that we are looking for is uh, distance equals 4.9 times t squared so now the fun part begins we're gonna use calculator to calculate the length of the stick so here we go, we're just gonna enter 4.9 times uh, t, which was 0 0.66, 0 0.66 uh, times 0 0.66, because it's a uh, squared, equals, so we got the final calculation, which is 2.13 for 4 meters, so that's about 2.135 meters. Okay, now for the finale, I am very excited to actually measure the stick with an actual measuring tape, to see whether it indeed is 2.13 meters. So um, yeah, let's measure it. Okay, here I go. This is the moment that we all been waiting for. Okay, here we go. And oh my goodness, guys, look here. Yeah. You won't believe it. Look, it's exactly, th this is where the stick was and that is exactly 2.13.5 uh, meters, which is the calculation that I got uh, using the calculator, using the time that it took for the clip to drop. 
Don't you just love it when science works? And the reason I'm wearing shorts is because today is actually really hot. Right now it's 28.6 degrees in my room. That's why I'm like a little bit sweating as well. But I had to do this for the science. And that's it. That's how simple it is to measure your stick if you don't have a ruler. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Mm.